Three years into a tumultuous reign at City Hall, Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko's rule appears to be close to a tumultuous end. Now, he has been impeached. 88 county assembly members voting in favor of his ouster just hours after the Employment and Labor Relations Court declined to extend a conservatory order barring the MCAs from debating the impeachment motion. Elfas Lagarde begins our bulletin with more details. Upon satisfying that at least two-thirds of the MCAs were present in the assembly, the threshold needed to discuss Sonko's ouster, the debate began in earnest. Just take, for example, the governor has been there for about three years. And only in the office of the chief officer finance, we have had nine different chief officers of finance. Nine. In three years, nine different ones. All of them have been in acting capacity. He doesn't like to confirm people in the office of finance. And it is, it is purely intentional. It is purely intentional because he doesn't want to be accountable. Michael Ogada, the motion mover, cited multiple grounds for Sonko's impeachment, including several corruption charges interfering with the transfer of deeds of functions to the Nairobi Metropolitan Services and accusations of blackmail and incapacity to run the county. Majority leader Abdi Guyo said Sonko has functionally run City Hall to the ground. Members of this county assembly for the last three years, Mr. Speaker, sir, have something, Mr. Speaker, sir, to go back and tell their constituents, Mr. Speaker, they will tell their electors, Mr. Speaker, sir, that with Mr. Sonko out, Mr. Speaker, sir, that NMS will deliver to Nairobians, Mr. Speaker, sir. The Speaker set out the rules to be followed in voting, which was done electronically, beating Sonko at his game. The governor had ferried MCS to Kwale to ensure the two-thirds quorum required for the debate was not met. 88 members voted in favor of Sonko's removal from office, while two voted against it. 20 members remain non-committal. From the results, the ayes, 88. <laughs> the assembly has resolved to remove His Excellency the Governor, Mike Mufisoko, from office by two-thirds of the members. On Tuesday, the Employment and Labor Relations Court had issued an order barring the MCAs from debating Sonko's oster, but declined to extend orders today, paving way for Sonko's impeachment. Mr. Speaker, sir, this is a Christmas gift for a lot of people, Mr. Speaker, sir. Tonight, the Speaker is drafting a letter to Senate Speaker Ken Lusaka informing him of Sonko's oster. The Speaker will in turn inform senators so a decision can be arrived on whether to hear Sonko through a select committee, as was in the case with Kirinyaga Governor Anwa Iguru, as was used to handle the case of former Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu. Elfas Lagat, Citizen TV, Nairobi.